It's your boy, Rondo, back up in the video. People read the last text from their ex. This one, I don't know how it's gonna go, man. Fuck. So I think it's gonna be really, really funny, really, really depress depressing. Whoa, how the fuck? That's not even a tongue twister. Or it's just gonna be really cringy, man. Ugh. All right, let's, let's just have it, bro. I don't really care. He does not look happy in these photos. And I kind of do. Well, I was really happy. Mm. Oh my God, I don't wanna cry. <laughs> Um. Fuck, that was depressing. Why, why, why did I decide to write this? this any of your exes? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Uh, no, I don't. All that's deleted. I do. Yes. We were don't keep them, guys. Delete it. I guess it feels decent. I guess it broke off on decent terms. I guess you can keep them. I, I just don't see what's the point. Like, I even be deleting regular fucking messages. You know what I mean? Regular messages after a while, they get old. I might be looking through them. I just delete them, you know what I mean? And I read through all my shit for the most part. I don't know how people be having like 300 unread messages, but I heard like maybe it's because group chats. Uh, okay, you know, if you're in a lot of group chats, then I can see why you might get a lot of messages. But other than that, man, uh, just just read their messages. You're not famous. We were in an open relationship, which had been, you know, fine for the almost year that we were together. Unless you know, we were both somebody. very communicative, very open, and, you know, very accepting and willing Never to you know, discuss somebody. whatever was brought up. And part, one evening, he asked me that, uh, if he could see someone that, you know, he had seen again. He was like, hey, can I see so-and-so again? And it was the first time where I was like, no, sorry. <sighs> what the fuck? We, like, broke up. And I told him, I was like, cool, just so you know, if you start dating that person, I'm gonna kill you. And he was like, oh, I'm not even thinking about that. Like, what are you talking about? You know, and I was just like, okay, whatever you say, but I just, like, let's make sure I'm establishing this now. And then January came. And he was dating her? He basically told me that he was seeing that person. And <laughs> I thought it would just be best if we no longer. Bodied. Hey, I'm not sure bodied. if you check the Discord anymore, but the last session. For Discord? Discord. 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 What? What? Don't tell me she used Discord to talk to her partner, bro. That's like kind of weird. I don't know. Whatever. For my campaign, it's scheduled for the night of the 12th. If you're free, we'd love to have you. The second message was also, if you haven't already heard, that person and I have started dating as of a few days ago. I oh, know you shit. expressed that you would be unhappy about that if it happened, but I still wanted to be upfront about it. Uh, I hope you're feeling better from COVID and I'm looking forward to potentially seeing you at D&D. &D. That sounds nice and I appreciate you being straightforward, but I can't lie, I am pretty upset. I think we shouldn't talk for a little bit, at least a month. I'm so Just don't ever talk to him again. And um, they, they sound like gamers for some reason. Especially after the Discord event, something about some D and D. I don't. I, look, I'm 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 a little retarded. I'm not gonna cap. I don't know what D and D is, but it sounds like some something from the gamer world, all right? Sorry, but I'm genuinely at a loss for words. I hope your grad school app went well. Have a great 2022. <laughs> Gamers. Having someone who started as a friend, it it sucks because I'm like, mm. I'm not only losing a partner, I'm losing a friend. It sucks to oh, throw damn. that away. Just throw it in the trash. Fuck that guy. Pop open his drink. I caught my ex cheating on so, me, and then so. when I confronted damn. him, he got violent. I realized I shouldn't be in that situation anymore. So I just packed my bags and left, and I never oh, looked back no. after that. You want some snacks? Yo, these shits are good as fuck. Hello Panda chocolate, like, these are fire. All right, these are fire. I, I, I went to, you know, the 7-Eleven, had to give me some snacks. It's late night, man. But, uh, well, it's not that late. Uh, it's 12 a.m. But look, man, I didn't know it was going to get this serious. God damn, her top kind of just, you know, she, she's crying. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get through this video, bro. Like, I'm trying to provide a comedic relief, but number one, I'm a shitty comedian. Number two, I'm not a comedian. And number three, um, I'm using this stupid ass, you know, you know, point of talking by using numbers. Very generic, Rondo. And for a couple of weeks, he would just send me waves of texts. So it was first, hey, can we talk? Damn. And then the next day, he says, please. At that point, I didn't want to talk to him because... I, he cheated on me and mm. I just wanted to move on from there. I don't know how. I was single at this point and I went on a date and somehow he found out I went on a date. So he texted me, fuck? you went on a date with someone else already? Ivy, I loved you. I wanted to fix things and took time to gather my thoughts and seek to help. Everything we had, Damn. I f***ed up. And then 
And that same day, I felt something was off, and then I nah. found his car in front of my house. I'm oh, not here for your forgiveness. No. Just my stuff, and to talk it out and move on. That's it. Mm -hmm. I'm making a police report tonight for stolen property. I really don't want to, but you're really forcing my hand here. He said he's going Damn. to the police, so I wouldn't be able to go to the police to file a report for myself. I kind of felt lost at that point, and I didn't really know what to do. I just don't understand why. <sighs> why someone's learning experience has to come at the expense of traumatizing others. That's crazy. I feel bad for her. Look, I don't know the full context of the story. For all I know, she's being super manipulating and conniving, and she really did hold his property. But, you know, in this instance, you know, I, I, I'll choose to, to, to believe her, you know. That guy is a piece of shit, okay? That guy is a piece of shit. You know what I mean? Whatever stuff you might have had, honestly, you should just, you know, let him get it and just fucking go. You know what I mean? Um, but apart from that, like, that dude is a piece of shit. Like, you, you know you hurt this girl. You cheated on her. And you want to go back and just get fucking a sweater? Like, okay, maybe I might understand if it's like a thousand dollar, you know, gaming set of his shit. You got to get your shit back. But why is it at her place? Why do you have a thousand dollar gaming set up at her place? I'm assuming bro's property was just fucking clothes. Like, just leave it, bro. And nobody gives a fuck. She don't give a fuck. She might as well keep her clothes and sell it or give it to, to kids in need. But bro, like, you, you cheated on her, man. You go to her spot and you, you, you're, tra you're traumatizing this woman by, by, by just being a dickhead, bro. I don't know, man. That, that's fucked up, bro. Some people, dog. Some people are just pieces of doo-doo, man. Oh, she'll, watch. Watch, watch her find, like, a six-figure guy, bro, that's, like, six foot tall. That actually cherishes her. There's, like, her. a younger hope, gay kid. Hope, I'd always see, like, TV hope shows of, yourself. like, this guy got matched with, like, this straight guy that they didn't know they were gay. And it ended up, like, what? kindling into, like, this fairy tale type of relationship. I, I ended that. up with a best friend in high school, my senior year. It was a nice thing for me having like a friend and I found myself getting closer and closer to to this what? guy. And I've never had like a really close best friend that was a guy. I figured out why, <laughs> because I'd end up catching feelings for him. It was just really mm. strange because he was a very like Christian football player, go to church. Yeah, he was closeted. <laughs> Oh, shit. Every Sunday, it was just very, like, difficult, I guess, for him to process those, like, emotions and, like, yeah. overcoming of, like, who you are. Probably, so how we didn't would hang be out gay. is we wouldn't really, like, text much. We would just You're text, oh, do you want to hang out? Yeah, sure. And then we'd, like, spend the day together. And then that's how we would, like, communicate a bunch. Yeah, hey, do you want to go hang out and get some food? No response. Like a day Damn. passed. Hey man, is everything all right? I don't know, man. I don't think we should be doing this anymore. Okay, that's fine. But you're not gonna be pulling this crap over text again. You're gonna tell me why to my face. That kind of just led into the mm. in-person conversation that we had the next day. So I know he's still like figuring himself out. He's still like thinking about his feelings for me. Right. And I just wanna be like, you know, I love you. You had this and it was there, but I'm done with it. Yeah, bro. Um, In that guy's defense, bro, like he said, he's a Christian football player. I'm assuming, you know, he, he has a lot of qualities that would be very negative for him to probably, like, come to terms that, you know, he might be fucking gay, right? Within his community or family. Um, So, for you, bro, obviously it's understandable that this guy just goes and just dumps this dude or just tries not to communicate with him anymore because you don't want to love somebody that doesn't even know if they should love you, you know? Uh, yeah, that's, that's tough, man. That's tough. I really wanted this to be a funny video, but, man, this got, this got serious. And I just kind of want to, like, go on from that. I feel like I really just, what like, I expect? gave up a part of my, like, my text. heart, I guess, to someone that really wasn't ready to receive it. We dated in high school. Okay. And then we had, like, a messy it's always a high school relationship. for college. It was kind of something that I did. Ooh. I confronted his girl best friend because I was uncomfortable yeah. with their friendship. He would tell me, Understandable. Like, oh, you're just my girlfriend. Like, you're not my best friend because she's my best friend. I didn't like that, so I traveled on the Greyhound to see him. And the second Shit. time that I came, he stood me up. Then unexpectedly, mm. like two years later, I get what? a text 
from a random unsaved number, and it was. Gotta from gotta him. change your number. I you're doing <laughs> every once in a while. Don't take too much of what your time, the fuck? but I need to let you know that I'm in the process of applying for a job, and they're doing a background check on me. The they fuck? requested your information, so I gave it to them, and they will probably call or email you. What? And this is random, but I still thought I should let you know in advance. Yeah, okay. Why would they ask for my info in the first place, though? Yeah, what the they hell? They responded with, during my background interview, they asked about my last relationships, and since it oh. was my last serious one, they wanted your info. Uh. And then I responded with, oh, okay, oh, well, yeah, no worries. And then, uh. right after that, he sent me this Weird. three paragraph long <laughs> message. You see how one thing led to another? Bro was just trying to let her know that they might call or email her about her information. I, I bet you this three paragraph law message she's about to uh, read out is just this man probably saying you fucked up. About how he wanted to get stuff off his chest and basically kind of apologize for everything. And what did honestly, I, say? I really wanted that closure. That's why I like rode on the Greyhound twice, 300 Damn. miles one way, and never got it. So it was the closure that I needed two years ago, but. I'm finally getting it. We're together. Like, I'll have notifications, and I'll say, like, memories or highlights, and it's, like, Disneyland 2018. Oh, can you not delete what memories or highlights? Your, your head. How blind I was, because he does not look happy in these photos. And Damn. I kind of do. Well, I was really happy. As, like... That's tough. Yeah, you can see her on, smiling. He kinda, his smile kind of faded. Damn. That's how you know something's dying. Look, if, if, you're, if you're in a new relationship... You know, first couple months, you take pictures with your with your with your partner, and you're bo you both seem happy. You gotta you gotta really really notice the small changes in your partner over time. If things aren't getting any better, like you just see them like their mood just slowly gradually go down. The longer you're in a relationship with them, you know something's wrong. Like she said, the man's smile was fading away. I don't know why. She doesn't seem like a bad person at all. But hey. Who knows? Maybe bro was just done, I guess. I don't know. fucking know. She actually slid into my DMs. Yeah? The Rizzly um, Bear? A follower of me previously from but my social media. Riz. It was just a really toxic The Riz got, damn. She became friends with another one of my friends, and she added her on her personal... Friends of friends of friends? And I guess she Gets was nasty, out huh? one night, and basically she was making out with the guy yeah that's why i avoid people i that's that's exactly why i avoid people for the most part no cap okay i still make a lot of friends though and she posted it's it all about on the people you keep around you man story and she posted it on her close friend story obviously because Rough. i wasn't on there but i guess Rough. she forgot that she had my friend mm. who i've known before her mm. my friend screenshotted it and showed it to me and was like are you guys good i sent three question marks just because i wanted to see Tough what she would say and then she was like hi babe you okay i could either play into this or i can just send you the screenshot and make you feel dumb so uh, that's exactly what i did sent i just screenshot? sent the screenshot and i said right after so this is what you do on your private stories huh i'm sorry i was honestly so drunk i forgot to tell you that i made out Ooh. with a friend this week has been so effed up and i needed to get out and have fun ah and now I that's up rough. And so sorry and so i said how do you forget to tell me but post it on your private story you that you had my friend on your private story da, da, da. and then this is where it gets interesting mm. so she texted me it gets worse i'm gonna try to convince him and i was like that wasn't meant for me. And I said, no way. Yeah, you're for the streets. Bye. Do you hope to what? Like, have a new relationship what? soon in the future? Or are you sort of waiting and taking your time? I need waiting, this. Taking you're waiting. My time. Yeah, yeah, take it. Yeah, take your time. You know, because that's oh, rough. Really. I'm in a relationship with myself. <laughs> there we go. I'm in a relationship with you. You're that you're that person, like, bro. Yeah, you're that guy. You, you are that guy. I don't understand why somebody's learning experience has to come at the expense of traumatizing others. Damn, yeah, that stagger was hurt. No, but what the fuck? Um, the last person, bro, like, the, the, the ex that they would, the, how stupid can that person be? Well, how stupid? Sent the wrong text message to the person you're trying to convince. I'm gonna try to convince him. You dumb. Oh, man, that's, that's crazy. It amazes me how quickly someone you love so dearly can be someone you never want to see again. <laughs> Jesus.
Hey, this is all facts. The worst thing about Betrayal is that it doesn't come from the enemy. Obi-Wan Kenobi, the legend, the one and only. If you don't watch Star Wars, I don't know what to tell you. Hey, but that is true. Betrayal is based on somebody that you know, friend, family, lover, and, you know, they do something behind your back or they do something that is not of good interest, that is against your interest and hurts you. Betrayal would never come from an enemy. My best friend, she's my best friend. My stomach would have dropped after hearing that. Yeah, that's tough, bro. Oh my god. I, I, I rethought about that just now. I wasn't even thinking about that a little earlier. I'm like, okay, it's his girlfriend, and that's his girl best friend. I already have a girl best friend, right? But what I also should have thought of is your girlfriend should be your girl best friend and your girlfriend and whatever in one. What the f? <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. That's like a punch to the gut. Like you're winded. I need to see the replies to this, bro. These people are fucking depressed, bro. Holy shit. All right, y'all tell me what y'all think in the comments below, man. Like, oh, man. <sighs> Chop I don't want to talk about this, though. Chop a like, subscribe. Should have done that with your friends. Comment down below what you guys would like me to react to. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.